Hello and welcome to the Get Good Drums instructional videograph presentation. If you're interested in what Get Good Drums has to offer, but like me, are a little confused about all the confusing terminology and futuristic looking programmatic software, then you're in the right place. Join me in discovering what it all means, what it is, and why it all matters. Firstly, we have some fantastic terms to learn. I know, all very peculiar looking words, but let's get started. First up, MIDI. The word MIDI is actually an acronym for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. This clever bit of kit was created by the Russians during World War II and has become a standardized language to interface between musical hardware and software. This means you can take an electronic keyboard, use some cabling to connect it to your personal computer device, and hey presto! You can trigger sounds like the wonderful Get Good Drum software with your fingers! Of course, the use of MIDI does not stop there. Many companies from all over the world have developed clever ways to use MIDI to control numerous kinds of software and even hardware, such as amp modelers or synthesizers. The birth of this interface language meant that people can now capture the essence of an instrument, digitize it, and put it into a neat little software package, and then utilize MIDI inside your personal computer to trigger and control the software. Having a universal language means lots of different people can make lots of different MIDI instruments for us to enjoy. How fun! Next on the list is interface, or sound card. Now, these come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, but essentially, they're a piece of hardware that allows you to take an analog signal, convert it into a digital signal, and put it into your personal computer. No, don't be afraid! This is not some sort of dark art, it's just clever science. This same device also does the inverse, and takes a digital signal, and converts it back into an analog one, which allows you to listen back to your recordings through headphones or speakers. This allows you to use a microphone, electric guitar, or bass, or any other kind of audio source, and then record it into a piece of software called a DAW, or D-A-W. This very conveniently brings us to our next term, D-A-W, or DAW. This is another acronym that stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Now, have you ever seen those cutting-edge pieces of technology called mixing desks and tape decks? Well, move over, you ancient, outdated, dusty piece of junk! Now we have a piece of software to replace you! Ha ha! Essentially, what a digital audio workstation, let's call it a door for now, does, is take the whole function of a studio and its expensive equipment and recreates it using those nifty ones and zeros which allows you to use it as a piece of software. In this software, you can record, compose, edit, piece together, playback and export your music. Provided you're gifted enough to make it in the first place, that is. Now I hear you, I hear you. Studios are dying and we must preserve the magic of live recordings, death to our digital replacements. And yes, I do agree those things are very important, but the great thing about this kind of software is that it makes it affordable for the average Joe, i.e. you and me, to make any music we can dream up right out of our bedrooms, kitchen tables, or any other location that you can sit and work. Want to know something else that's just splendid? Professional high-end studios now use doors to be the central brain of their studios too. Using interfaces, or sound cards, they can plug in their retro super special hardware to capture the magic of analog equipment into their digital music brains for easier comping, editing, and workflow. How fantastic! Some of the most used doors include Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic, only available on Apple Macintoshes, Ableton Live, Studio One, Reaper, and FL Studio. Some are free, some are expensive, but they all basically do the same thing. Some are considered better than others at specific tasks, so do a bit of research before purchasing one to see which will fit your needs best, much like a lovely shoe. The next term we need to know is native access. Native what? 
Is that some kind of gatekeeper all natural bodies must pass through in an ethereal plane in order to get access granted to enter their physical body and transcend the Feywild? <gasps> no. This is a software program made by the extremely talented folks over at Native Instruments. This software allows you to put in your recently acquired unique serial number and download your shiny new GGD library. Imagine it as a friendly little helper inside your personal computer who makes sure your software is installed, in the right place, and also lets you know when your software is ready for an update. The other tremendous thing about Native Access is that you can log in with an account. So if you go to a new PC, all you have to do is log in with the same account and re-download your software through this program. Hurrah! Next on the list is contact. What is it? Why is it spelt weird? And do I need to wash my hands? Contact is a piece of software that allows you to load those MIDI instruments we were talking about earlier. Think of it as a shell in which you can add instruments, combine sounds, experiment with textures, and then route these sounds directly to your speakers or into your door. Want to combine an aboriginal didgeridoo with a piano recorded in an ancient coliseum? You can do just that. What a world we live in. So, now for the best part of the video. Talking about the things that we, Get Good Drums, have to offer, and what exactly each of our products does. First up, we have drum libraries. You know those MIDI instruments we keep referring to? Well, our drum libraries are just drum versions of one of those. We have meticulously recorded a number of different drum kits and cymbals in different drum rooms around the globe. We then cut up the recordings into samples and then package them in a tasty looking interface to load onto your personal computer. You can then trigger these drum samples in your door using MIDI. This means you can get drums on your tracks written by you, played by a world class drummer. How crazy is that? Each of the drum libraries we have made have a different purpose. With each product we aim to capture a different vibe to give you all the sonic possibilities you could ever want when searching for acoustic drums. Not sure which drum library is right for you? Don't stress, okay? Instead, hop over to our worldwide website at www.getgooddrums.com, take a look at each of our packs, see what's unique about each of them and then make your decision. If that still isn't enough info for you, head over to our YouTube page to see walkthroughs, demos and playthroughs of each of our libraries. Next on the list is MIDI packs! Want great drums on your tracks but not so hot on writing drum parts? Then we've got you covered, pal! Our MIDI groove packs are gorgeous digital packages full of MIDI drum grooves. Once loaded through our drum libraries, you can drag these pre-written and recorded drum grooves directly into your door to trigger our drum libraries and make succulent beats for you to write and jam to. We have two different types of MIDI pack, artist packs and genre packs. Our artist packs are signature MIDI packs written and recorded by world-renowned drummers. We have lots of different genres covered in them, each with their own unique flavor distilled down by the movements and beats of the drummer that recorded them. The other type of MIDI groove pack we offer is our genre packs. These are still recorded by real drummers, but the point of these is to not capture the specific character of a drummer, but rather provide a large number of grooves that are typical of a specific genre of music. So if you want the pocket of Matt Halpern, there's a pack for that. However, if you just want the anger and angst of my teenage years, then you can pick up the Hardcore Grooves pack. Hurrah! If you're a total rebel and are looking to use our MIDI packs with a third-party drum VST, then you absolutely can. However, beware! beware. Our MIDI packs are designed specifically with our drum libraries in mind. Other packs might not be so friendly. Next up is the one, the only, Smash and Grab! Now, this is another one of those software things, but this time, it's not a MIDI instrument. It's actually an audio processing plugin. A whatty? An audio processing plugin! Now, remember back at the beginning when I was talking about how people have digitized mixing desks and turned them into DAWs? Well, those same clever folk have also turned audio hardware such as compressors, equalizers, phasers, and such like, into software that you can use on your very own personal computer. I know, quite amazing. Well, Smash and Grab is a compressor, 
specifically designed to be your one-stop shop for compressing drums. A compressor is a piece of equipment that controls the dynamics of a signal. When used in specific ways, it allows you to achieve a huge shift in tonality and texture. Maybe you want to squash the dynamics into a tasty sausage, or exaggerate the peaks of a signal to make it all pokey sounding. Well, you can do that and more with a compressor. We at Get Good Drums wanted to take the difficulty out of using a compressor and make something which was simple, intuitive, and already dialed in, making compressing drums easier than eating a bowl of pasta. Once loaded onto one of your drum tracks, you can use the built-in drum type knob to select the type of processing that is appropriate to the source tone. Then you can choose whether you want to smash the transient or grab the transient. The transient being the initial pokey loud bit of an audio signal. There are other snazzy features such as air and beef EQ knobs, and if you really want to get involved, you can click the pro button and unlock all the controls such as attack, release, ratio, and more. This is great if you want to use the fantastic compressor circuits on something that isn't drums, or if you just want to feel really smart. Next up is our GGD Studio Cab software. What this plugin is, is essentially, a guitar cab impulse response loader. A watty watty? Well, essentially, an impulse response is the digitized essence of a guitar cabinet. There's a technique that can be used which captures the unique characteristics of a guitar cabinet, the woods it's made from, the speakers it has, and the room it's captured in, and the microphone it's captured with, for you to then take a guitar DI, i.e. a guitar signal without a cabinet on, Load this piece of software onto it, and then you can try out different guitar cabinets, layering multiple on top of each other, blending them uniquely, or just having them all on at once, with the ease of a few clicks of a mouse. If you love one of these blends you've made so much that you actually want to use it in the real world with a guitar modeler or a load box, you can. Simply export your custom impulse response from the software and load it into your hardware. Simple. Now, finally, we have the All The Gains Kemper Profile Pack. Now, I'm not going to get into the witchcraft that the Kemper Profiler is built with, but it's essentially a hardware guitar amp simulator. This isn't ours and we didn't make it. However, a very cool feature of the Kemper is the ability to capture the essence of an amplifier. So we put together our very own pack of what we consider to be the best high gain amplifiers on earth. Not only that, but we also captured the essence of two of our favorite guitar cabinets. However, beware! You absolutely do indeed have to definitely own a Kemper profiling amplifier to use this product. Do not buy this pack if you don't own a Kemper profiling app, okay? Well, that just about rounds up this instructional videograph presentation. We hope you've learned something and that you now have the knowledge you need to go and make some chart-topping jamborinos, or music for short. Bye-bye and see you next time.